Hi Rebecca, Bill Davis here with Hind Realty Group. Uh, we've been Facebook messaging each other and uh, I'm aware that you guys have a house that you guys are looking to sell. It was your mom's house and you guys are just waiting for a time to be by to be able to uh, sell the property. So what I wanted to do was quickly just show you uh, the values over in the area just so you could kind of have an idea of what the house is and the market is doing in your exact neighborhood. And instead of looking on all those other websites, this will be a little more, uh, you know, customized to your property. So just to kind of go into it real quick, I won't be able to give you an exact figure until like if I'm able to see the property in person, because I would have to see what kind of repairs are needed, uh, what kind of upgrades have been done to the property and the condition of the property. So I'd be able to compare it to the, all the, the other properties that have sold and that are on the market currently. And then that's how I'll be able to determine the value. Also, one of the benefits uh, that have, you know, the, real, the most important part is getting your home ready for sale. And so, you know, I would be able to walk through your property and give you tips on what we should do and not do, you know, spend the least amount of money. Uh, to get the biggest return, you know, and we work with all any budgets and even if you guys want to sell as is and don't really want to do too much work, you know, there's still some things that we could probably do to get the house to show its best to be able to get as much value out of it as possible. So the markets are always changing. So these figures that I'm giving you today are, might change within the next month or two. And so when we when I look at the property in person, and then when we're also looking to put the property on the market, we'll keep going back to the values and see what else has changed, okay? So just to kind of give you an idea real quick, uh, the ones in blue right here are properties that have sold. So this is uh, up the neighborhood right here, and I'm very familiar with it because I have a house that's uh, for sale right now right down the street um, that's currently active. It's a little newer. It's over here in a gated community, but I drive through this neighborhood you know, a couple times a week uh, checking on my listing over there and so I definitely have a really good idea of this uh, of this neighborhood so let me go in to show you uh, the specs that I put for the criteria of what I'm searching for to compare it to your property I uh, did three bedrooms two bathrooms just like your property but then I also threw in some four bedrooms just so we could see what those sold for your house is uh, a little over 1700 square foot and so I went up to 2,000 square foot and 1,400. So 14 to 2,000 square foot is the houses that we'll see. So having more square footage, of course, is going to add more value than the last house that it sold that's less square footage. So we'll go through the list real quick. So let's start with the highest sold. So you can see all the houses over here in this neighborhood are roughly around 1,400. You can see there's one that's 1,678. That's still smaller than your property. and But that's a little different neighborhood, older neighborhood, not as good as the one that your mom's property is in. But it's listed at 299 And so I think they priced it pretty aggressive to be able to get multiple offers. But this one right here was listed for 349 this house, uh, actually, I've seen it, and it was not upgraded at all. It was just clean, and uh, it was moving ready, just not upgraded or updated at all. And almost 1,500 square foot, smaller than your property, but it sold for 371 So that's the highest comparable to your property. So if that one was a lot smaller and not updated, it was a little, you know, it was newer than your property. Same, you know, the lot was large, just like yours, but it got 370000 the only other comps are 350, 342, uh, another one that sold for 340. And you can see the square footages, though, are a lot smaller than your property. So that's also going to help with your value. So what I can see right now are between 340 and 370. Depending on the upgrades and the updates of your property, uh, you're going to be very close to that range. Um, you know, th if this one right here sold for 370 you might be able to push that number if you have uh, you know depending on what kind of upgrades you have on the property and what the condition of the house is okay so I really hope that this kind of gives you a quick glance at what the market is and the values uh, over there are and then of course uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you and your sister to be able to go over all the uh, go over the property 
to kind of give you guys some tips on what we should do and not do to get the house ready for sale. And then also we'll kind of break down every single property more in detail to uh, be able to determine a list price and to go from there. And I would also like to be able to show you uh, everything that we do to get buyers into the property to get you as much money as we can. Okay. So have a great day. And if you have any questions, you could always reach me on my cell phone number is 510-685-9178. Again, 510-685-9178. Have a great day.